Let's see what she needs. Ah, it's baby. He's my sheep. My bet my sheep with this. This is my sheep. In the polyester. Wash up my so sheep. My dad, you can't be sick. Oh, my phone. My cell phone, my cellular device just went off. I, I'm sick. I'm a sick dog. I'm sick. But you were all right last night. No, no, I actually wasn't. My face was about as green as the clippings on the lawn. <coughs> Will you get up? It's noon. You've slept five hours later than usual. Shut up, woman! Go get me some damn aspirin and some Robitussin, and believe the crack cocaine. Cause I'm sick! Shut the parlor off! That's my family. I don't care if it's your family, woman. I'm a sick man. I'm a sick man. I'm a sick man. I'll turn it down. Shut it up! Frickin' Is that better? You're welcome. That's my favorite program. Where's my Robitussin? You've never been sick before. Well, I am now. And I'm not going to work later. And you can't get my ass out of this bed to go to work later. So call that beady eyed bat for me and tell him I'm not going to work. Jeez, I'm not going to work. Give me some aspirin. Did something happen? Eh, fire down at Motown's all. You know how those meth lab explosions work. Fiery inferno. I had a fine evening. Uh, what, what doing? The parlor. What was on? Programs. What programs? Some of the best ever. Who? Oh, you Who? know, the bunch. The bunch? The bunch? The bunch? M Mildred? Mildred? M M Mildred? M M Maybach music? Only mother of God! What'd you do that for? Sick. You hook? Now go clean it up! Mildred. We burn we burn old woman with the books. The books. Good things the rug's washable. Can you see? That don't I don't Mildred. Mildred. Aren't yeah? You, aren't you gonna ask me about the, the holes of last night? What about it? The horrors last night. We burned a thousand books, Mildred. We burned a woman. Well? We, we burned copies of Dante and Swift and Marcus uh, Shirley. Wasn't he a European? Something like that. I thought he was Soviet Union Russia. Wasn't he a radical? I never read it. He was a radical. Okay. Do you expect me to call Captain Beatty? You must. Don't shout. I wasn't shouting. I can't call him. I'm sick. Why? You're not sick. I don't want to call him. I'm sick. Millie, how would it be, well, maybe I quit my job a while. Do you want to give up everything after all these years of hard work because of some woman and her books? You won't there. You didn't see. There must be something in books, things we can't imagine. To make a woman stay in a burning house, there must be something there. You didn't say nothing. She was simple-minded. She was as rational as you and I. More so, perhaps. And we burnt her. 
That's water under the bridge. No, not water. Fire. We ever see a burning house? It smoldered for days. Well, this fire will last me the rest of my life. God, I've been trying to put it out in my mind all night. I'm crazy with trying. You should have thought of that before becoming a fireman. Thou, was I given a choice? My grandfather was a fireman. My father was a fireman. Now I'm a fireman! <laughs> About sleep, I ran after them. This is the day you go on your, the early shift. I know it's two hours ago you should have been going to work. It's not just the woman that died. Last night I thought about all the kerosene I've used in the past ten years. And I thought about books. And for the first time I realized that a man was behind each one of the books. A man who had to think them up. A man had to take a long, long time to put them down on the paper. And I never even thought that about that before. Oh, took some masculine figure, well, maybe, maybe a lifetime to put his thoughts down. Looking around the world and life, and then I come along to two minutes and boom! It's all over. Quick as day. Quick as dawn. Leave me alone. I didn't do anything. Let you alone? It's all very well. Very well indeed. But how can I leave myself alone? We need to not let to be left alone. We need to be really bothered once in a while. How long is it since you were really bothered about something important? About something fake, sight, real. Well, now you've done it. Out front of the house. Look who's here. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, that's who is that? Oh, all right, I see a, I see a white, a white car. Wait, wait, Honda Civic. And uh, what am I looking? I'm looking at the Honda Civic. Oh, it's got a dent in it. It's got a dent in it. What's up with that dead in the hood? Oh, I don't care. I don't care about that car. I don't not care about that car. Well, there's the Phoenix car. I just drove up and the man in a black shirt with an orange snake stitched on it. his arm is coming from the front walk. Captain Beatty on Brat? Captain Beatty. Go let him in, will you? Uh, tell him I'm sick. Tell him yourself! Oh crap! Beatty's here! Shut the relatives up! Just come out, thought I'd come by and see how sick the man is. How'd you guess? <laughs> I saw it all. You were going to take the night off. I'm going to take the night off. Take it off. When will you be well? Tomorrow, the next day, maybe. First of the week. Every fireman sooner or later hits this. The only need understanding to know how the wheels run needs to know the history of our profession. They don't feed it into rookies like they used to. <laughs> Damn shame. I'll let you in on it, man. When did it all start, you ask? The job, this job of ours, how did it come about? Where, when? Well, I'd say it really got started around about a thing called the Civil War. Even though our rule book claims it was founded earlier, the fact is we don't, didn't get along while, well, d until photography came into its town. Then, motion pictures in the 20th century, radio, television, things began to have mass. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm just bullshitting. And because they had mass, they became simpler. Once books appealed to a few people here, there, everywhere. Everywhere! They could afford to be different. The world was roomy, but did, then the world got full of eyes and elbows and mouths. Double, triple, quadruple population. Films, radios, magazines, books leveled down to a sort of taste pudding norm. Do you follow me? I think so. Picture it. 19th century man with his horses. Dogs, cats, slow motion. Then in the 20th century, spit up your camera. Books cut shorter. Condensations, digest, tabloids. Everything boils down to the gag. The snap ending. Snap ending. Class is cut into 15 minute radio shows. Then cut again to a fit of two minute Book columns winding up at last as a 10 or 12 line dictionary volume. And ex I, I exaggerate, of course, the dictionaries were for reference. But many with though whose sole knowledge of Hamlet, you know, the title certainly, Montag, is probably only a faint rumor of a title to you, Mrs. Montag. Whose sole knowledge, as I say, of Hamlet! was a one-page digest in a book that claimed, now at last you can read all the classics. Keep up with your neighbors. Did you see? Out of the nursery into college and back to the nursery? There's your intellectual pattern for the past five centuries or more. Speed up the film, Montag. Quick, click, pick, look, I, now, flick, here, there, swift, pace, up, down, in, out, why, who, how, who, what, where, a, uh, bang, smack, wallop, ping, pong, boom. Oh, super high fire, digest, digest, Ricky Rose, I slap you, digest, digest, digest. Obama sucks. Politics. One column, two sentences, a headline. Then in midair, all vanishes. Where old man's mind round about is so fast under the pumping hands of publishers, exporters, broadcasters that the centrifuge flings off all unnecess unnecessary. Time wasting the thought. Schools shortened, discipline relaxed, philosophies, histories, languages dropped, English and spelling gradually, gradually neglected. Finally, almost completely ignored, life is immediate, immediate. the job counts, pleasures, lies all, ab all about our after work, why learn anything save pressing buttons, pulled switches, fitting nuts and bolts. Let me get your pillow. No. The zipper displaces the button on, and the man... Locks just that much time to think while dressing at dawn. A philosopher hour, and thus a melancholy segment. Or an hour, if you will. Life becomes one big pratfall. Mount, tag, everything. Bang, boof, and wow. For God's sake, you dirty harlot! Let me be! Empty. The theaters save your crowns and furnish the rooms with glass and walls and pretty colors running up and down the walls like cotton fetty and or blood or sherry or salt and seventeen. <laughs> you like ba baseball? Uh -huh. Don't you, Montag? I like baseball. We all like baseball. Do you like you like baseball? I, I'm curious to hear. Do you personally, do you like America's pastime baseball? Because I, I figure you would. You look like a baseball kind of guy. Baseball's a fine game. What's this? Sit, sit What's down! This? We're talking! You like bowling, don't you, Montag? You like bowling? Bowling down the alley? Taking the ball and just rolling it? Because I don't know. People, people like that these days. They like to bowl. That's America. none of them America's pastimes, you know, along with the, the baseball and stuff. You know, I, I figure you like that. I like it.
Yes, bowling. Putt, putt, and it's in the hole. <laughs> That's a nice golf hole, you. Golf is a fine game. I already asked you about baseball, but I figure I'll ask you again. Golf is a fine game. It's pool, football. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I don't know what you like. I just figure I right. Because, you know, while I'm sitting here trying to get to know you, why are you sick? You know, maybe this could root us to some parasites. It could root us to some, 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 some root to what you're feeling right now. Fun games, all of them. Raw spots for everyone. Group spirit fun. And you don't... Th you don't have to think, eh? Organizing, organizing, super organized, super, super sports. More cartoons and books, more pictures, the mind drinks, less and less. Impatience. Highways full of crowds, going somewhere, 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 nowhere. The gasoline refugee. Towns turn into motels. People turn into nomadic surges. From place to place. Flop following the moon tides. Living tonight in the room where you slept this noon. And I... The night before. Now let's take up to the minorities in our civilization, shall we? The bigger the population, the more minorities. Don't step on the toes of the dog lovers, the cat lovers, doctors, lawyers, chefs, merchants, Brooklynites, Irishmen, Illuminati. Get money. Must be Illuminati. Talking to the Holy Ghost in my book. Sorry, sorry. A little flash out. <laughs> People from Oregon, Mexico. How about those Arabs? You like those Arabs? Ah. Uh, the people in this book, this place, th this TV serial, are not meant to represent any painters, cardiographs, mechanics, anyway. The bigger your market, Montag, the less your handle controversy. Remember that. I, all the minority, minor, minor, minor minorities, with their not navels to be kept clean. Authors full of evil thoughts. Full of evil thoughts. Lock up your top writers. <laughs> they did. Magazines became a nice blend of vanilla tapioca. Books of a damn snobbish critic said, Wear dishwash water. No one of books stopped selling. The critics said, but the public knowing what it wanted. Spin it happily like the comic books of survive. In the three-dimensional sex, sex magazines, of course. There you have it, Montag. Didn't come from the government, damn it! There was no dictum, no declaration, no censorship to start with, no. Hell nah. Technology, mass exploitation, the minority pressure carried the trick. Thank God. <laughs> Today, thanks to them, you can stay happy all the time. You are allowed to read comics. The good old confessions of trade journals. Well, what about the firemen then? What more easily explained and natural with school turning out for rumors, jumpers, racers, thickeners, grabbers, snatchers, flyers, and swimmers, fish boy, instead of examiners, critics, knowers, and imaginative creators, the word intellectual, of course, become the swear word it derived, deserved to be. You always dread the unfamiliar. Surely you remember the boy in our, your own school class who was has exceptionally bright to most of the reciting answered while the others sat like so many leading idols hating him. And wasn't it? This bright boy you selected for beating the tortures after hours. Of course it was. We must all be alike. Not everyone born free and equal as the Constitution says, but everyone made equal. Each man in the, ma the image of every other. Then all are happy. For there are no mountains to make them cower to judge themselves against. So, a book is a loaded gun in the house next door. Burn it. Take the shot for the weapon. Breach man's mind. No, wh who knows who might be the target of the well-read man? Me? I won't stomach them for a minute!
In someone's houses were finally fireproof completely all over the world. They were correct in their assumption. There was no longer need to fire men for the old purposes. They were given a new job as custodians of our peace of mind. The focus of your, our understandable and rightful dread of being inferior, official censors, judges, and executors. That's you, Montag. And that's me. B.D. Me. We must understand that our civilization is so fast that we can't have our minorities upset and stirred. Ask yourself, what do we want in this country above all? People want to be happy, isn't that right? Haven't you heard it all your life? That rhymed unintentionally. I want to be happy, people say. Well, aren't they? Don't you keep them moving, but don't we give them fun? That's all we live for, isn't it? For pleasure, for titillation. And you must admit our cultures provides plenty of these. Yes. Good people don't like little black sambo. With good reason. Burn it. White people don't feel like, feel good about Uncle Tom's cabin. Well, burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Someone's written a book on tobacco and cancer of the lungs. The cigarette people are weeping about. Burn the book. Serenity, Montag. Peace, Montag. Take your fight outside. Better yet, into the incinerator. Funerals are unhappy and pagan. Eliminate them, them too. Five minutes after a person is dead, he's on his way to the big flu. The incinerator is serviced by helicopters all over the country. Ten minutes after death, a man's a speck of black dust. Let not quibble or... In, over individuals with momentums, forget them, burn all, burn everything. Fire is bright and fire is clean. Well, there was this girl next door. She's gone now, I think, dead. I can't remember, even remember her face, but she was different. How, how did this, how did she, she happen? Here, there, that's bound to occur. Claris McLean. You've a record on her family. We've watched them carefully. Heredity and environment are funny things. They really are. They're really funny. You can't rid yourself of all the old ducks in just a few years. The home environment can undo a lot. <sighs> so much to read. <laughs> just a little side note. But, uh, undo a lot you try to do at school. That's why we've lowered load the kindergarten age year after year. Until now, y we're... Almost snatching them from the cradle. We had some false alarms in the McLeans when they lived in Chicago. Never found a book. Uncle had mi a mixed record. Antisocial. The girl. She was a time bomb. The family had been feeding her subconsciousness, I'm sure. From what I saw of her school record, she didn't want to know how a thing was done and why. That can be embarrassing. You ask why to a lot of things, and you wind up very unhappy indeed. If you keep at it, the poor girl's better off dead. Yes, dead. Queer ones like her don't happen often. You know how to nip most of them in the bud early? You can't build a house without nails and wood. If you don't want a house built, hide the nails in the wood. If you don't want a man unhappy politically, shut up! Don't give him two sides to a question to worry him. Give him one. Better yet, give him none. Let him forget there's... SHUT UP! There. Two sides to a question to worry him. Give him one. Better yet, give him none. Let him forget there is such a thing as war. If the government is inefficient, top-heavy, and, ta and tax-mad, better it be all those ma than that people worry over it. Peace, Montag. Give the people contest. They win by remembering words to more popular. You know what? I'll be right back. You got hip hop. <laughs> Give the people contest. They win by remembering words to more popular songs. 
of the na names of state capitals or how much corn Iowa grew last year. Cram them full of non-compostable data. And shock them so damn full of facts they feel stuffed, but absolutely brilliant with information. And they'll feel their thinking. They'll get a sense of notion. Motion, I mean, without moving. And they'll be happy because facts of that sort don't change. Don't give them any slippery stuff like philosophy, or psychology, sociology to tie things up with. That way lies manic melancholy. And many who can take a TV, wallopaw, and put it back together again. And most mean men can, nowadays, is happier than any man who tries to slide a rule, measure, and equate the universe. Which just don't be measured and, or equated without making a man feel bestial or lonely. I know, I tried it. <laughs> To hell with it. So bring up that uh, clubs and parties, or your acrobats and musicians, your daredevils, jet cars, motorcycle helicopters, your sex and heroin. More of everything to do with the automatic reflex. If the drama is bad, if the film says nothing, if the play is hello, hollow, sting me. Sting me with the theremine loudly. I think I'm responding to the play when it's only a tactical <sighs> reaction. Reaction, Re reaction to vibration, but I don't care. I just like solid entertainment. Well, I must be going. Lecture's over, Montag. I hope I've clarified things, and important thing for you to remember, Montag, is we're the happiness boys, the Dixie duo, the Dixie chicks. <laughs> Anyways, you and I, and others, we stand against the small tide, excuse me, of those who want to make everyone unhappy with conflicting theory and thought. We have our fingers in the dike. Hold steady! Don't let the torment, the melancholy, and drear philosophy drown our world. We depend on you. I don't think you realize how important you are. We are. To our happy world as it stands now. Oh yeah, one more thing, Montag. Montag. Uh, at least once in his career, every fireman has an itch. What do the books say? He wonders. Oh, to scratch the itch, eh? Well, Montag, take my word for it. I've had to reach a new book in my time. To know what I was about. And the books say nothing. They don't say shit. Nothing you can teach or believe. They're about non-existent people. Five fit figments of imagination. If they're fiction, if they're non-fiction, it's worse. Uh, one professor calling another an idiot. One philosopher screamed out another in gullet. All of them are running about. Putting out the stars and extinguishing the sun. You come. You you come away lost. You come away lost. Well then, what if a fireman accidentally, really not intending anything, takes a book home with him? You know what? It's a natural error. Courtesy alone. We don't get over anxious or mad. We let the fireman keep the book 24 hours if he hasn't burnt it by then. We simply come burn it for him. Of course. Well, Montag, will you take another shift later today? We'll see you tonight, perhaps. I don't know, homie. What? We'd certainly miss you if you didn't show. Get well and keep well.